Keeping a close eye on developments in Eastern Europe is a GCU basketball player and Ukrainian native, Dima Zador. Yeah, he's been reading, watching all these updates on the war, trying to communicate with family back home. And tonight he's sharing his story with Fox 10 and Bailey Miller is live from the GCU campus with more. Bailey. Yeah, needless to say, this is an extremely emotional and heartbreaking time for Dima Zador as he is watching that news, as you mentioned, because he is thousands of miles away trying to get a hold of his family. 21 year old Dima Zador is at practice perfecting his game. All while he's dealing with the worry of his family's safety and the rest of Ukraine. It's, it's like heartbroken, super sad. It's it's, it's just tough to, to, like, to, like to see what's going on. Zador is a forward on GCU's basketball team. He moved to the U.S. alone when he was 14 to pursue school here and a basketball career. But he goes back every summer to his hometown in Yalta, a seaside town in the south of Ukraine. It's just, uh, just it's, it's so mentally relaxing there. Like the country is so beautiful itself. You can go, uh, you know, so many lakes, mountains, you know, you're hanging out with the friends. And now he's watching his country get torn apart by this war. He says the scariest part, not knowing how his family's doing. Since the power went out, it's a little tougher right now because uh, it's a matter of chance to charge their phones. Um, yeah, so it's, it, it become tougher and tougher. Zador says luckily his parents are not in the area of combat right now, but that isn't the case for his grandparents, aunts and uncles. We have a very patriotic people that they, they know what they fight for. Zador says all he can do is follow the news closely and try to get in touch with his family. He says he's been so proud of his fellow countrymen fight for what they believe is right. I just want people to know that we, we want to be a free nation. It's a luxury thing to, to be free. Now he said the last time he was able to speak with his parents was more than a day ago. So all he can do right now is pray and hope he can hear from them soon. Reporting live here, I'm Bailey Miller, Fox 10 News.